brothers and sisters welcome to this liturgy of the word where today the church celebrates the solemnity of the annunciation of the lord and we are called in this celebration to be mindful of our mission to be joyful messengers of the good news to the people around us especially our family members our community and the parish of st mary of the angels and so let us begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let us pray o god who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the virgin mary grant we pray that we who confess our redeemer to be god and man may mary to become partakers even in his divine nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah The Lord spoke to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign for yourself, coming either from the depths of Sheol or from the heights above. No, Ahaz answered, I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Listen now, house of David. Are you not satisfied with trying the patience of men without trying the patience of my God too? The Lord himself, therefore, will give you a sign. It is this, the maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed, you know it, O Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Bull's blood and goat's blood are useless for taking away sins, and this is what Christ said on coming into the world. You, who wanted no sacrifice or oblation, prepared a body for me. You took no pleasure in holocausts or sacrifices for sin. Then I said, just as I was commanded in the scroll of the book, God, here I am. I am coming to obey your will. Notice that he says first, You did not want what the law lays down as the things to be offered, that is, the sacrifices, the oblations, the holocausts, and the sacrifices for sin, and you took no pleasure in them. And then he says, Here I am. I am coming to obey your will. He is abolishing the first sort to replace it with the second. And this will 
was for us to be made holy by the offering of his body made once and for all by Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Word became flesh, he lived among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angels said to her, Mary, do not be afraid, you have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about? Since I am a virgin, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with his shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people call barren is now in a sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord Brothers and sisters, Today the Church celebrates the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. The crucial question today, Do I trust God in my life, even though I am not able to see the bigger picture? I sense that my trust in God to make the impossible happen will depend as to where am I in my relationship with God at this present moment and my willingness to take a leap of faith in my life. We have two examples in our readings today. Here we begin with King Ahaz. He was a weak and idolatrous king and became worried when both Syria and Israel joined forces to attack the southern kingdom of Judah. However, God here sent prophet Isaiah to assure him that God would not abandon Judah and was willing to give him a chance to repent because of the promise made to David and his descendants. But King Ahaz was blinded by his wickedness and refused to hear God's message, though God offered him a sign that a Saviour will rule with peace and righteousness. Because of his refusal to trust God's promise and protection, the nation will suffer and come under the rule of the Assyrians. In the Gospel, we have Mary as the young girl who had to decide in her life to become the mother of Jesus through the mystery of the Incarnation, even though she could not fully grasp the plan of God. However, her total fiat, or her total yes to God's invitation, meant that the human race will be redeemed by the coming of Jesus as Saviour of the world. Simply put, God as Emmanuel has become like one of us and willingly entered our messy and broken world. In our own lives, we are tempted to go with our own efforts and strength to solve the situation and challenges before us and sadly leave God out of the picture. 
The amazing thing is that God wants to be part of our lives and we have to decide today and for the rest of our lives whether we want to accept and trust God just like Mary or totally reject God's presence and grace just like King Ahas. And so the question, do I trust God totally to surrender my will into God's hand? One of the high points in my life as a friar priest was being involved in the building of the new St. Anne Church for worship in Kuching, together with the laity. Being a foreigner in Sarawak and having no knowledge in building and construction, it would be seen as an uphill and almost impossible task at hand. I truly believe that in those challenging and difficult moments, the power of prayer and quiet time with the Lord kept me going just like Mary, who pondered things in her heart and tried to make sense of a situation. However, when the project began, I felt this unshakable faith within me and believe that the new church of Sanan will be completed in time and also at the same time to be open and accept if God had other plans for me and his people of Sanan. The dream of the new Sanan church came to completion after 45 months because of the Lord's blessing upon the community of Sanan and as friars, we were truly blessed to have this wonderful and incredible support of the laity for the friars. This week, we focus on the virtue of St. Joseph as a humble father. St. Joseph will always be a model to our present-day fathers in the way he was open to God's will in a humble way. Many times, Joseph would have struggled to make sense of God's plan for him and his family. And as head of the Holy Family, he was obedient and open to God's voice and humbly followed God's ways. The more God gets involved and become part of our lives, the more we can rise above our anxiety, fears, conflicts and pains, especially in this current pandemic times, to live our lives in a positive joyful and peaceful way. If God is for us, who can be against us? And so the question again, do I trust God just like Mary to believe that the impossible can happen in my life even though I am unable to see the bigger picture for now? Amen. We now turn to God our Father a God who cares for his people, who is always close to his people, who whispers in our ears, do not be afraid, I am with you. And we pray in these words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that He was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true men. We may, through the saving power of the resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our words, actions, and convictions. Thanks be to God.